I don't really care about if I have a bad hair day or whatever, but if I'm having a bad brow day, I would be frustrated the entire day. I got my eyebrow tattooed, so I'm here to share my 3D Korean eyebrow tattoo experience. I hope you guys find this video helpful and let's begin! You're seeing my naked brow, like untouched, undone, I didn't fill it in, I didn't draw anything on top of my brows, so this is my eyebrow tattooed. The eyebrow tattoo artist, she actually recommended me to go really natural because it will look kind of funny if you have like full done eyebrows without any makeup on after you wash your face. I am not being sponsored by her, I actually paid my own money. If you guys actually want to check her out, I'll leave her cacao talk ID in the description box so you can go check her out. She's based in Seoul but I do think she travels quite a bit. I had a very uneven eyebrow shape and one was like always higher than the other one and it was very hard to kind of sync up, kind of match the shape and even it out. So it actually took me a lot of time, it required a lot of time and effort to actually just take my time to draw in and draw the shape perfectly to match each other. I didn't really have the sparsest eyebrows, I guess, but the hair would grow in a very independent, individual, like separate direction. So my bottom line is I just wanted some help regarding my brows. So what's different from just normal eyebrow tattoo technique to the 3D eyebrow tattoo technique that I got? 3D eyebrow tattoo technique is way more natural, it just actually draws in individual hair strokes on your brows so rather than f like shaping the entire brows and filling it in with the ink, it just looks really really natural even though without any makeup on. Whereas the old technique, you can definitely tell that she had the eyebrow tattoo them because her brows are so bold and like so filled in I guess even without makeup. So, so the first thing you do is getting consulted by the professional. She's actually going to like suggest the brow shape for you and the brow color for you. She was really knowledgeable on what she's doing so I was like, you know what? I don't care, just do whatever you want to do. I just want it really subtle and natural. Whereas some people actually want a very strong, fuller brows because they don't want to fill in their brows anymore. So the brow color and the brow shape really depends on your decision, your preference. I personally went for a little bit of a soft arch brow, I guess. I feel like it really suits my whole entire face, so I'm really, really happy about the shape. The next step you do, they apply numbing cream on your brows to make it not hurt in the procedure. So after the numbing cream, she will wipe it out and also she will draw the outline of the brow shape that she's going to go for. You can actually have an idea, a more precise idea, more a more visual idea that what kind of brow shape you are going to get. And she will still like make sure it's even, she will still make sure if you're happy about it. So as you guys know, the final step is getting the actual tattooed done. So she'll draw an individual hair strokes on your eyebrows. It, it is kind of intimidating because you are getting a tattoo. It will incorporate the knife <laughs> that she uses, but it didn't really hurt at all. And after a few minutes, you are actually done. And it's a very, very easy procedure, I feel like. I mean, it didn't even hurt. It actually didn't take a lot of time. And then all you need to do is put an ointment or a specific cream that she gives to you and keep it really really moist all the time. It's just exactly like maintaining a tattoo. So I think it took me about a week to actually get the natural brow look because before that it was kind of red because it was kind of bleeding and after a week it kind of gets flaky, it will fall off a little bit and it will fade a little bit. And I did the first eyebrow tattoo in November 2015 and I did go for a touch-up in February this year, so after like two and a half months later. For the very first time you do it, it's more like shaping your brows and kind of see how it goes, kind of see how it suits your look, and kind of see how it fades throughout the months, I guess. And I feel like each eyebrow fades a little bit differently, so she'll see and adjust the tone and the color a little bit more, and she'll fill it in a little bit more to make it fuller, so I highly recommend you guys to get a retouch or a touch up. So that is my eyebrows filled in. I would normally do this every day in the morning but it just saved so much time. I am just sharing my experience to those who would possibly find it helpful or for those who actually goes to work 
very early in the morning and they don't have a lot of time to commit to their eyebrows every day. If you're a teenager, just experiment with your eyebrow shape and your eyebrows a lot. I do want to recommend this, but at the same time, I'm very cautious to recommend this. So just for the side note, that was my opinion. Anyway, that was it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you guys next time. Bye!